What's up, you guys? We're talking about the getting started, expected values, and geometric probabilities. This is a wonderful scenario that I hope you will be aware of, and you can use it to mathematically befuddle the people around you. Let's make a deal. The game show. Suppose you're a contestant on the Let's Make a Deal game show, and the host shows you 10 doors and tells you there's a car behind one of the doors. And the remaining doors have nine, uh, uh, the remaining nine doors have what we call zonks, which is a goofy, worthless prize that has literally no value. So you choose door number three because it's your lucky number, but the host decides to open eight other doors that all have zonks behind them. And he knows that as he reveals them, he knows that he's revealing the zonks that are behind them. At that moment, it's your door and the only other door that's not open. And the host says to you one more time, do you wanna keep your door or switch to the remaining closed door. Now right away, pause for a minute and think about this. Do you stay with your door or do you switch? Should you keep your door or switch it? What do you think? Pause right here and think about it. When you're thinking about this, are you thinking, well, I just have two choices. So my door is either right or wrong and this door is right or wrong, it's 50-50. That's the mistake. That's what simple-minded probability understanders do. If you understand 50-50 shot, then that's what you're thinking. But actually, the truth is more subtle than that. It's not about your door being right or wrong and this other door being the opposite of that. Well, it is that, but it's, it's more based upon what was the entire collection of probabilities. When you first picked your door, you had a one in 10 shot at winning which means you had a nine in 10 shot at being wrong. So then the host reveals all of the other doors that are wrong, except for the last one and says, stay or switch. That final door is now, are you ready for it? Nine tenths right. Because if your door is one tenth right, nine tenths wrong, then every other door collapses down in terms of it's the right door and all of their, this one's right, this one's right, this one's right, this one's right. They all collapse in their one-tenth being right probabilities to that final door that hasn't been opened yet. So it has a nine out of 10 chance at being the right door. You should totally switch. This is literally, let's make a deal. Your probability of choosing the right door will be one-tenth, which is nine tenths wrong. When the host opens eight of the other nine doors, they are transferring the probability of one tenth, one tenth, one tenth of them being correct because you got your one out of 10 being right. So then the remainder is theirs onto the only other door that's left. So now the other door has a nine out of 10 chance of being the winning door while your door still only has a one out of 10 chance. In essence, you should switch. And understand your pick, it's not because you picked it and three was actually an unlucky number. No, no, no. It's about conditional probability. And the condition is you picked your door and you want the, the winning door given you picked your door. And so everything else is switched out of the way. If this is the last one, you should switch. So when we talk about geometric probabilities and we talk about expected values, we are getting into the idea of choice and like how long something should play out. And so uh, pay attention to your intuition, but also think about what sort of strategies or scenarios you have to keep in mind. Thank you for watching this video. This has been Page 894, and I'll see you on Page 895 the next episode. Have a good one.